Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Here in Sportsbook Robbery. It's uh, July 2nd, three games on the slate. And a little bit of a rush, so I'm skipping the lines. A little bit of line movement. Uh, most of them stayed the same. Nothing crazy. But uh, jump right into these player props. First one, I got Laney Hamilton over one and a half threes, minus 140. Uh, when I just placed the bet, it was already at minus 150. But uh, pretty good hit rate. Gone over this. What, four out of the last five? Uh, four last game. So uh, shooting the ball real well from the corner. Exceeded one and a half threes in four of the last five, like I said. Uh, was going to play a points, rebounds, and assists, and then it got bumped up. So I uh, figured the safest bet was to go with the threes. So, uh, yeah, we taking it. Got to have a bounce back day. Got, got murked yesterday. I feel like someone stole my wallet. Shooting 53% from threes. Uh, minus 120. Fan little draft kings. Uh, line shot. If uh, I keep saying this, I'm a strong advocate. If you're spending more money, make sure you alt line it back. Get it at the nine and a half. Pay the juice. Do that for all the plays. Like, say, your unit size is $200 or something. This way, uh, if you ever notice where, you know, you kind of get kind of close when, uh, with the plays, you either win by one, lose by one. So if you all line it back, it gives you a way better chance to hit. Uh, hit rate for this, 58% for the year. She so had a little rough patch. Uh, towards the end of last month, but she's been getting back on track. Shooting 44% from the field, 50% from three, 100% from the foul line. Succeeded 10 and a half points for the last five games. Uh, I watched her play the other day. I just thought she played decent. Break it down to away games. Last four out of five away games, she's went over this. So, uh, I'm going to give it a shot. Lena Smith points over 10 and a half. All right, next up, we got Angel Reese. We've been riding this one for a while now. It did bump it up. It's been slowly getting bumped up, so... Actually, they even made it to change the odds. Uh, bumped it up to 12 and a half. I played it at 12 and a half. Easily been going over this. But uh gets any high. Well, we'll see what happens today. Last game, 16. She did miss it the game before, but... Uh, Four games before that, she killed it. Uh, Atlanta is ninth in rebounds allowed. So she has her normal day. She should go over this. We already know plenty of minutes. Uh, she's exceeded 12 and a half rebounds, five of the six last games. Nine defensive, five offensive. So she's just averaging over this. Uh, we got to give it one more chance. If it was a better rebounded team she was going against, I wouldn't have played it this high. But, uh, and like I said before, if your unit size is decent, don't be scared to all line it back. It would be the difference between wins, wins and losses. All right. All right, for this one, I'm going Camilla Cardoza. Doing rebounds as well, uh, over eight and a half. Now, uh, Reese is the forward, Cardoza is the center. I 
Like I said, uh, Atlanta's ninth in rebounds allowed. Uh, minus 108, FanDuel. Let's hit this four out of the last five. But what I realized was the game she didn't hit it. Well, besides that, that eight right there, all these other ones to the, to the left over here. She didn't play that many minutes. See how the minutes are all down. So I could adjust it to a uh, minimum number of minutes. And like the last two weeks, she's been playing at least 20, 28, 29 minutes. She's been going over this. So as long as she plays her normal minutes, we got a good chance to go over this. Uh, last 10 games, 83%, 5 out of 6. It's looking good. They both don't shoot the ball too well. Uh, Chicago's 11th, 41, uh, 11th place, 41% they shoot. And uh, Atlanta's 12th, 40% they shoot. So there should be a lot of rebounds going around. All right, I'd like to take this time and ask you if you could like that video. New viewers, please subscribe, turn the notifications on. That's where you get my plays, my live bets. Uh, any news or info I want to shoot out there, uh, get whatever I'm doing, full transparency. Uh, appreciate everyone. Let's keep it moving. All right, Stephanie Dolson, you played at threes. Last game, I decided to go with the points this time, over 12 and a half. 122 on FanDuel, 130 on DraftKings. So, like I always say, multiple books. Um, gone over this five out of the last five. She's been on a tear. Uh, shoots decent amount of threes, and she usually, she's been killing them. Since she upticked her threes, she's been going way over this. Five last game, four, four, or two. But uh, I decided to not go with the threes because I noticed she's a smart player. She's a veteran. She don't have the three. She steps up. She takes the two. She drives a little bit, take a midi, mid range. So I just figured in case the three is not falling, she's wise enough to stop shooting them. So I decided to just go with the points. Uh, 12 and a half points. It's not much for her, especially the way she's been playing. Uh, Los Angeles is 10th in points allowed. It's only 12 teams. So, yeah, hopefully we'll cash it again. Dawson, uh making us some cash. We need a bounce back day. Bounce back, bounce back. All right, next up, we're going back to the beast. Derek Ahamby killed the first last game. Uh, game was on TV. Uh, she played great. Uh, minus 114, FanDuel DraftKings got the same right now. Um, she had a little rough patch. She hit this 56% for the year. She's went over this. But she had a little rough, rough patch, and then we started playing her over here. And I was hoping she'd snap out of it, and, and she had. She had 20 that game, 29 the last game. She's coming off three days rest. So I can break it down to the home games. Looks a little better. It's so a home games. And then home games with three days rest. It's only one game, but she cleared it as well. 20 points. So, um, let me go back to the year. Uh, shooting pretty well. She does everything. I mean, she ain't like a crazy three point shooter. Averaging one, one a game, but shooting 50%. She's shooting 54% for the field for the year. Uh, 67, which is pretty shitty from the foul line, but she's getting at least four uh, free throws a game. 
And uh, Washington is middle of the pack in uh, points allowed. So, you know, hopefully she goes over it. Uh, it's one of the main scorers on the team. So I'm going to keep riding until she misses. Derek Hamby. Over 17 and a half points. Like I said, all line if you can. Uh, definitely line shop. Always. And no tilting. Win or lose. Tomorrow's another day. All right, last but not least, I got Julie Van Lu. Uh, points and assists over 13 and a half. Los Angeles is 10th in points allowed, 11th in assists. It's only 12 teams, uh, so they're at the very end. Uh, minus 120 on uh, FanDuel. For the year, she's got a 53% hit rate for this. Um, head to head, hundred percent. When I, she plays better away, when I break it down to away games, she's gone over this eight out of ten, uh, seven out of nine. Sorry, seventy-eight percent. She, uh, like I said, hundred percent. She had twenty-one, nine assists, and twelve points last time they played. Uh, if I break it down to so with her rest. So they got two days rest. They got one game. She had 20 points. It was versus Connecticut. Connecticut's a good team. Uh, Van Lu's an assist machine. You could play into her assist. They got left five and a half. She probably will go over it. I decided to add the points myself and maybe give a little cushion in case one's a little more than the other. Hopefully, I made the right decision. Um... I did drop a little slip in the community before before I made this video, and I was still looking. I, I scratched off uh, the aces guard uh, plum on her assists. Not that I didn't think it was a good play. It's just I now, you know, I picked plays and then I narrowed it down. And like I said, full transparency. So I didn't actually bet that. I bet all these. Um, rough night last night. So some people just didn't perform. Other ones were real close, and uh, those type of things happen. You, you know, it's it's more about consistency and keep going day in and day out. And you know, some days you're gonna lose. Sometimes you're gonna have stretches. But the thing is, not to tilt. Don't start betting on dumb shit just to bet. Uh, doing parlays and other things. If you're betting every day, that's not the way. But uh, you got to stay consistent, put the time in, and keep it moving. Hopefully, we got a bounce back day. Ace Money, the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go.